Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CVP Nuts video series on C++ and today's topic is multi-map in C++ and it's been long time I did not give any video because I was so much busy, okay? So now I got some time, so let's start this. So the syntax is, okay, <laughs> this multi-map, so this is not a slash, this is a multi-map and then this is type 1 and type 2 and the object name. So multi-map is actually similar to the map if you don't know what is map please go ahead and watch my video on map so in map you remember you have one key and then you have associated value with that okay so you have some value like this and you have another key and you have another value for that correct so in map we had only one key so if there is only one key you can have only one value associated with that key and key should be unique in map whereas in multi map you can have multiple similar key so in multi map it would look like this suppose you have one and you assign something in that and then you have the same key one you can assign maybe something else to that maybe uh, you can say one so if you will see in the system there will be two different keys and two different values associated with that okay so that's what i have given the example here if you see here we have this multi map and the first is a type of your key so first position is for the key and another position is for your value type okay so this t1 is nothing but the key type and this t2 is a value type so with this example you can see that i have key a a and a three time and i am initializing one two and three as value in that so if i will iterate over this multi map which is like this there are other ways to actually iterate but i will choose this way so that it will be very simpler and yeah obviously it store sorted list okay sorted list so let me just first read these comments so it will be very handy for us to go ahead and discuss all these things multi-map is an associative container that contains a sorted list of key value pair correct so we have key here and the value okay so we have key and value and key and value type can be anything so while permitting multiple entries with the same key this is something unique with multi-map that's why it is called multi-map in map you had only single key but here you can have similar key so many times. Even similar key and similar value is also possible. It's not like you have to have a different combination. No, you can have similar combinations and number of time, no problem. So this is covered. Second point is it store key value pair in sorted order on the basis of key, correct? Either ascending or descending order. This is important. You can actually specify that I want to store these key or these pair in ascending or descending order in map so that is the syntax for this see if you will use this syntax when you are going to create a multi map you have this key type and then data type i mean value type and this is a third place where you will say that i want greater or less so if it is greater means it is descending order and if it is less means it is ascending order and if you're not giving anything by default it is ascending order and third point is data structure used in multi-map is not defined by standard yes if you will search you will not get anywhere written that yes i am a c plus plus stl developer and i know what i have used to develop this no one is talking about what is actually used to implement this multi-map but red black tree is assumed by most of the people by looking at the behavior of this data structure so this was third point and the fourth point is look up so actually when you have your map ready okay you inserted these many stuff and now your map is ready so now in order to iterate over that or count how many keys are there or find some key or do some operation on that you have these many functions available so first is count so count is it will tell you that how many keys are available with the given count we'll see all these lookup functions when i will do the practical so last point is we don't have at and this functions 
to get element like we had in std map this is very important don't get confused that in map we had something like this right let's suppose you have std map of some type and you have this obj then using this obj and if suppose your key type is integer then you can do this one and this will return the reference of the value if it is there okay but this operator is not there in multimap and similarly at is also not there because there is no single key available inside multimap there are so many so it doesn't know which one to return but there are ways to actually get all the keys like equal range so if you are finding how many a's are there it will give you that so we'll see all these things a little later so enough talk let's go to the compiler and see how it looks like so this is your actual program here if you notice that this is just the iterating over this full multi map okay so this will give you the similar list what we have inserted here and another for loop is to get all the key with a okay so you will get these three entries okay so let's quickly just compile this first and then we will see all those other options so where am i say that nine and if i'll compile this execute this see so this is what we are getting here so till this much is the result of first for loop because we are iterating over it and this much is for second loop because we are saying that get all the pairs of given key okay so we can see that if you are confused let me just simply give one c out entl here we will save it and recompile it and re-execute it see we have one space here so first loop is for this one and second loop is for this one so we don't have any confusion now so let me just go through what it is doing and yeah i told you that you have the option you can actually say pair of character comma integer so you have this options also so let me just simply save this compile this and execute this i guess we are getting the output correct so this is also a way of doing this let me just revert this okay so till now you saw that how to insert it how to iterate over it and how to get some key from your multi-map okay it is very easy right now you might be thinking what this hack is correct i know this is looking like a very big hack because the return type of this equal range is little bit scary i'm telling you it is really very scary because it returns a pair of two iterators uh how to go about it okay i'm using auto here so i'm saving my life but i would like to show you that wait a minute pair of multi-map and the type is character integer comma multi-map same thing character integer okay so this is what we get when we use this equal range function i know you must be thinking what is this hack no but this is not a hack actually what happens this equal range returns a pair of two iterators this first iterator says that okay i am pointing to the first pair of a returned pair so if you are looking for this a here so you are supposed to get these three right i mean these three correct so this first data type means it is saying that i will be holding the first one's address and this second one is saying that i will be holding the last one's address so you can iterate from first to last using this loop and this is how you'll do it okay so let me just simply compile this and we'll be good to go compiled yeah successfully and see we have this correct output here okay so we are good so can you see the power of auto here i can see that it is like a god to me just auto and i am living my life on beach or something so this was about equal range function we have 
count function so uh, let me comment these if I'll comment this and just focus on you please give me that count please and it will give you that and if you will just simply compile this and execute this you are getting this little three here right so you know it is three so we have a three trine so this is the job of count find means it will tell you that whether it exists or not uh oh I'm so sorry I'm so sorry find means actually it will give you any of these I'm just confused with this contains okay so if you are using contains here let me just clarify that then this will give you true and false it is like does it contain this or not oh yeah I just checked it it is saying that this contain function is available in C++ 20 so I don't have that compiler so that I can show you that but believe me this function exists and it returns true and false depending on that key does exist or not okay so let's go to find now because this find did not work right and find actually returns something else it actually returned the pair okay whatever it is I know you're saying that there are three values I mean three a so which one it will return so believe me it can return any one of them let's just simply do auto and data here or we can say pair okay and if I will just simply do this C out pair okay and if I'll compile this now let me compile this compile successfully and if I'll execute this voila see it is giving you a and one so this is giving the first one but standard does not guarantee which one it will return okay so this is what find does so we have covered count find contains we could not so and this was the first example lower bound and upper bound lower bound and range dot not dot second okay so if I will save this and compile this okay let me comment this one because it is disturbing us recompile execute see we are getting a1 so what is the meaning of lower bound lower bound means see you are giving a then lower bound of all these are this one okay because it was inserted first so this is first in the row of sorted values inside this map okay and i told you this multi map would be sorted on the basis of key so this came first and this came second so this is anyway similar to this one but it is going to be at second place so what we are asking is i want a lower bound of this a so it is always going to give this one now there is a point here if you will say upper bound then it is not going to give you this one this is the problem i don't know why they have done this but this is how it is i will compile this again and execute this see this time it is b4 so upper bound of a is this one not this one this is very important to know otherwise you will be confused a lot so if i will give b here so B's upper bound would be obviously this one only sorry it will be kind of a zero or something because we don't have any upper bound here B's lower bound is going to be B4 okay so if I'll just simply compile this one and execute this see we're not getting anything and similarly B's lower bound is going to be that's what I said B4 so let's quickly compile this and check that see it is b4 so these are the lookup functions you can actually perform on your multi map and you might be thinking what the heck is this i mean why i'm going to use multi map anyways what is the ultimate purpose of using multi map when i'm going to have these scenarios yes you can have these scenarios and when you have such scenarios that like with one key you want to associate multiple values then you would need this multi map there are so many people they are 
thinking that why we cannot use map only like this uh, if I want to store these integer which is going to be so many values for a similar key why I can't go to map only with this data type like map and I have this character and the vector of integer why I can't go for this correct so key will be always one and whatever values I want I can push inside this so even myself thought this should be a very good idea instead of going for multi map I can go for this one but I searched I mean I googled it and I found that there are so many people who thought the same thing and they googled it and I found that no this is not good way to actually achieve this so if something is already given by your standard library you should use that because if you use something like this instead of using this if you're using this then you have the pain of maintaining this you have to see the correctness of this one instead of writing tests to actually find whether these things are correct you can actually simply rely on your multi map which is provided by a standard library and you can live your life happy ever after so nice talking to you guys i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did like and subscribe if you are new to this channel i'll see you in the next videos bye bye